In this video, we'll show you how you can take advantage of the patchable effects found in the free and open source VCV Rack Modular Synth. Here we've got a pair of delays providing echo in our drone patch. This is fine, of course, but it misses out on one of the most interesting aspects of using effects modules, the potential for CV control. As you'll likely have noticed, our delays offer CV inputs for every parameter. Let's nudge the top delay's time to around 1 o'clock. Let's modulate that time parameter with a new LFO module, which we'll find in the fundamental category. We'll patch its sign output to the CV jack connected to the time knob. We'll crank the LFO's frequency way down. Now our LFO is manipulating the delay time, resulting in an ever-changing playback of echoes. We'll right-click to the browser and grab a shaper module. We're going to route its envelope output to the CV input associated with the top delay's mix parameter. We'll need to reduce the mix knob's value to around 8 o'clock. Now we'll set our shaper cycle mode to loop. We'll set the shaper's speed to the 10 by position for a really long cycle and hit the trigger button to set it all into motion. Let's have some fun with the delay in the second row. This one is routed to the right channel. We'll grab a sample and hold module from the BOG audio collection. We'll patch its topmost out jack to the second delay time CV input. A sample and hold module requires an input, so we'll instantiate BOG Audio's noise module as well. We'll patch the noise module's white output to the sample and hold module's top in jack. It still won't do anything unless we activate the trigger. We'll do that using the pulse output of a BOG Audio LFO. and the LFO rate at 0 0.5. We'll tweak the delay and VCF parameters until we've got a deliriously dynamic drone. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>